In this example, I've got Auckland Fruit Vegetables Bakery, and I've got the same thing under Wellington. That should be vegetables. And same for Christchurch. So these three sheets have the same headings. And then we have the source here. So I want these three sheets to point to the same source and as the sources update it'll update the three sheets. So this is internal linking first. So I'm going to select the options for fruit here and create a list using a named range. Type in fruit into the name box, press enter and then I need to turn it into a table, control T. So just this section here and my table has a header which is the fruit. So that's one table. I'll just do that again. So I'm going to select the vegetables. It's called vegetables here. I did this earlier. And then I want to go control T to make just this detail into a table. Just once more I'm going to select the items, call it bakery, and then go control T. So now when I select these three sheets Whatever I do to this first tab will happen in all of them. So I'm going to add data validation. Go to the data ribbon. Oh, it's not going to let me. Okay. So I'll go to data validation, allow list, and we want the fruit list. So F3 will bring up fruit, which is great. The next one, data validation, allow a list. F3 will bring up vegetables. Great. And then the bakery. Now list. F3 is the shortcut bakery items. The advantage of doing this is that if we go to the source and add more things here, chocolate cake and I spell broccoli <laughs> and um, kiwi fruit because the table it auto expands and as we go back these will auto expand but now the question is can this work on another sheet using the source from this sheet so here we're at Palmerston North we want the same data validation here data data validation allow a list Will it let me point to this sheet? Go to the source and select that range. Press enter. No. So it looks like we can't do it across worksheets. We'd have to replicate it inside each worksheet. This example, Timaru has fruit, vegetables and bakery and so does Hastings and we're going to use columns here. So when I go on this column to be equal to on this cell equal to column B, press enter. I want this cell equal to column C. So the advantage of doing this is that as we add more things here, um, pears and peaches, cauliflower and muffins, into our source columns, we can see that Hastings and Timaru, oh Hastings is updated, I haven't done it for Timaru yet. So it definitely works there. Let's try it linking across. So I want this cell equal to something from the source book, the columns, column A. Press enter. The cell equal to book one, columns, column B, 
You can see the reference here, book one, columns, exclamation mark, which separates the worksheet name from the cell references. Press enter. Once more, equals, go to book one, the columns, select column C. So as our sheet one updates, let's add some more things into the bakery. So we've got uh, small cakes and large buns. And we can see Hastings has updated. And we can see that our second sheet for Palmerston has also updated. Okay, so the last piece of the puzzle is, this is our book two, and we know that these columns link to book one. So if we go to book one, we go to our columns tab, and we add another fruit in here, apricots. We know that that updates internally into the Hastings tab, and if we return to our book two, we can see the apricots is here as well. So inside book two, we want to create so we've made, this is the source data really, and we want to make this one um, the internal for this book. So if we click into here and add data validation, oh, actually I've done it already. So if you click into here, you can see that I've added it and we can access information from this sheet, which is actually pulling from book one. So to do that, I'll click into here and we'll do it in this cell B1. So I'll go to data validation, we're looking at a list, and the source is Palmerston, the column B. I'm using the whole column because that's what it's drawing from book one. Click OK. So now that drop down is showing all of the options from the Palmerston sheet. And we can see the options are here. But if we return to book one and we update the vegetables in the source column, the original source column, let's put another vegetable in here. Uh, carrots. So we know internally carrots is updated in our Hastings one. Let's return to book two. We can see carrots has updated the Palmerston sheet, but if we go to sheet two, our drop down arrow has also updated carrots. So that's the final piece of the puzzle. So we have managed to link any changes from the original source data in book one can link through to a second workbook, but you have to make that linked data, the source data for the second workbook. <laughs> that makes sense.